Hi guys, welcome to another Baggins International video, and today we're looking at the highlight reel of our convoy. And some of you may have seen this on our Twitter feed over the weekend, and just thought I'll put all the clips together so you can get a good feel of what was actually happening. So that was a guy who decided to crash his Luxor into uh, into the first original convoy, and uh, after a bit of a reset, we decided we would regroup at the Ping services and have a coke. So I've managed to nab myself a Phantom with a Ron um, trailer. And I've just arrived here at the Ping services to join Captain Piercewick for a tasty sprunk on this warm spring day. Now the reason we're sort of held up here is because we're waiting for uh, Ginger Chaos to arrive and he's having some difficulty replacing his truck that was destroyed in the Luxor Buzzard incident. Finally found one, so we're on our way, and uh, we've already done most of the bottom corner of the Los Santos city, and we're coming up here, and a highlight here, the fallen over meteorite truck, which uh, randomly fell over before we even arrived there, so we can't be blamed for that. Um, but we can be blamed for that explosion, which was accidentally Captain Piercewick setting off a sticky bomb he'd secluded in my truck by trying to change his own radio station. Uh, so I wasn't best pleased about that, because it ultimately resulted in the absolute annihilation of my truck in an area where they don't really spawn, which is somewhat problematic. Anyway, um, no recovering that, so I was left behind the wall of the motorway waiting for roadside assistance as Ginger Chaos decides to naff off in his truck and Piercewick's already well gone. And then, fortunately, a fire engine emerges, and I think, yep, do you know what, I'm definitely going to have that. Uh, at least to wreck my... Um, retribution upon Captain Perswick for exploding my truck, and I'm going to do that now. So, surprisingly easy how you can take someone out with the with the fire nozzle attachment there. Uh, I was genuinely surprised that that, that had that effect. Um, it's a little cutscene of the fire engine. So a bit later on, um, Ginger Chaos has lost his truck. He's taken on the responsibility of the fire marshal's van, uh, which is appropriately coloured. And uh, there's some sort of disagreement going on about flares, and uh, I decided I could see if I could fill Captain Piercewick's truck with water. Apparently, because he didn't have a windscreen, it was quite problematic to drive in first person. A little nudge there on Ginger Chaos caused quite a big crash, but that was all in order to get this Phantom, which I thought I would, I'd get hold of, and I took out the driver and did all the hard work, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to have that. Nope! Ginger Chaos has hopped into it, and he's naffed off all again. So I'm left there with a fire engine. Fortunately, did make $28 off that chap, so that was all okay. A bit later on, Piercewick's having a reversing incident. Don't know what's going on there. A little crash. Nearly toppled him over. Tried to spray him over the edge there. Uh, didn't quite work out. I was later informed there was a sticky bomb on this fire engine, so I left it at this petrol station and decided that I would have this conveniently parked estate vehicle. And now, I do apologise to the family that I uh, stole this off. Uh, luggage can be reclaimed and uh, join the motorway. This is the slowest car in the world, so I've cut this down quite a lot, uh, and I've have spotted this logging truck, and I thought, right, now's my time, I'm going to get back in the truck. You can't be convoying in a small family estate car, uh, let alone still with all of their baggage, which we don't really need. So, I've now got this truck. Ginger Chaos has still got the truck that he nicked sort of off me. Mm, no, not really sure. Debate's still there. And uh, Piercewick's managed to get a truck, so we regroup in this small lay-by. Uh, and as you can see, we're most of the way around the map at this point, so we're doing reasonably well. We've probably got through, by last count, five, perhaps six trucks up to this stage, so we'd, you know, we're, we're steady progress. Um, managed to retain my truck for the longest time I think I managed to keep it, and lo and behold, we're on flares again. So there's flares everywhere. Um, and um, we've just pulled over into this labour. I think I'm going to pop a sticky bomb on there. I'm not sure Ginger Chaos ever realises that's there, but uh, there was an element of putting sticky bombs on each other's trucks to ensure that we that we stick to the programme here. So I was trying to um, see if I could get a flare through the broken windscreen of Piercewick's truck, but uh, apparently they just bounced off. And then I was later informed that I had set fire to his truck, so I'm terribly sorry about that. Uh, as you can see, he's trying to get out of the way before impending explosion happened. And it's surprising how long it takes. Uh, I laid the blame fairly and squarely on Ginger Chaos here, because I think he fires the final for the final blow, which we'll see which we'll see momentarily. Uh, so, yep, yeah, there. So it was almost a spectacular flare into the back of the truck, massive explosion, but uh, unfortunately the game doesn't lie. 
So at this point, I don't really know what's happened. I think Ginger Chaos has jackknifed his, his truck across the road, causing somewhat of a, a traffic jam. And I was desperately waiting for that sticky bomb to go off. And I couldn't wait any longer, so I just blew it up myself. And um, that caused much annoyance to, uh, to Ginger Chaos. I'm not really sure why Pierce has got a tiny Humvee here. Oh yes, that's right, because of the, the little flare incident uh, that happened earlier on. So... Well, that's another two trucks down. Oh, no, one truck and a trailer, so that's okay. At this point, Ginger Chaos has been trying to shunt me off the road, so I gave him a gentle tap into the petrol station. <laughs> but needn't worry, because Beerswick manages to explode not only himself, but the entire petrol station in one wicked flip over the barrier. And a bit later on, uh, the captain's managed to regain a tr truck and also a maverick, uh, which he's trying to sneak out uh, of, the, of the side of the cops here. Uh, I think they know it's there, and they definitely know it's there now, it's fallen off the side. Um, but I mean, you know, it could have been a helicopter delivery truck. Uh, so, we're all back in trucks, and um, there is some police attention, but Ginger Chaos is going to attend to that by shunting this police car off and down a side road. I'm not really sure what ensues down there, um, but I think he just ditches him next to that wall, and we just crack on crack on down this road and um, basically I'm taking taking the logs and we're coming towards the end of the convoy now we've pretty much gone full circle you remember we started off being blown up by a Luxor at the army base and for those of you that know know the map we're just uh, leaving Polito Bay here and we're going to be heading back down um, towards the military base. I've had a little bit of an incident there involving Piercewick clipping my wagon, uh, which has disconnected and could not be reattached. And that corner cannot be taken at full speed in a Phantom, so that, let that be a lesson to you. So we've arrived pretty much back at the military base now, and um, I've been informed at this point that Ginger Chaos has got an Annihilator and that he intends to try and fly it underneath the tunnel. Um, of the military base. As you can see, Persik being really helpful. He's lining up the way with the flares. And that was an aborted attempt. So first attempt aborted there by Ginger Chaos. I've decided I'm going to jump out and support with the flares here. Um, so I did also notice that if you fire them into the rotor blades, they sort of catch and spin around, which is pretty cool. So this is attempt number two. Ginger Chaos going for it. No, he's aborted. And this is quite dangerous, the way he reverses here. I might have clipped, I might have clipped Persik with the flare at that point. Um, but he's gone out, um, so that's quite good. I'm not sure whether he, um, how he put himself out there. To try and fire a flare through the gap, which uh, appears to be impossible. Uh, so, Ginger Chaos has got most of the way down the tunnel here, and we decide to help him out with a couple of RPGs. Um, miraculously, neither of us get the credit for killing him, so he'd managed to, managed to finish himself off before they got there. Anyway, check back for some more Bagging International videos soon. Bye!